Hello, Laura here. Today I'm going to do my April month in review. And um, I'm going to start a different order today. And I haven't got any makeup on today because I've got a few new things to try out. So I thought I'd just try them out while I'm here. Now, I um, finished my LA Girl Shady Slim brow pencil, which you'll see when I get to the empties part. And when I went to buy another one, they um, didn't have my colour at the chemist and they said they weren't going to buy LA Girl anymore and they were going out of stock, which means all the chemists around me, they're all the same kind of brand of chemist, which means they're all going to go out of stock of that. So I have to find a new one and I've decided to try the Astralis Micro brow pencil. I've used this a couple of times now and it's the same kind of pencil as the LA Girl one. It's a twist up micro pencil with a tiny little tip on it. So um, I thought I'd show you how that works. So this one is in brunette, I think, or dark brown. This one's in dark brown. So just a, a basic shape and it's a fairly hard pencil. I'm not sure. It's a. It's not really hard, but it's not really creamy either. It's. It's in between, which is what I like because I don't want something too soft and creamy that's going to smudge or get way too dark too quick on me. But I don't want it so hard that I have to press too hard. So I don't have to press hard. So I'm just going to kind of draw in the shape there and I also ended up buying um, some brow pomade so I brought the Milani one this time in the Stay Put Brow Colour Brunette 04 because um, I quite missed the brow pomade that I used up last time but I didn't like the L'Oreal formula very much so I tried I decided to try this one. I used this one for the first time yesterday and it comes with a little brush with a spoolie on it. And um, it seems to stay put and be okay. They had a, a reasonable colour selection. So that was good. And then I just go through and fill in my brows with it. Because if I just use the pencil on its own and then do a bit of gel, it... Um, the pencil disappears so fast, but I like that kind of pencil with the fine tip for getting the basic brow, or if I just want a very natural brow, then that's, that's quite good. But if I want something a bit more structured or a bit more filled in, then I quite like to go in with the pomade I discovered from using the L'Oreal one, I just didn't like the L'Oreal form formula very much. And the brush on here seems to be quite good. So that's how that works. And then I'll just go through and give them a bit of a brush. And then I'd go through with my concealer and just tidy them up a bit. But both those products seem to work well, so I'm looking forward to using them over the next month. Or until they're all used up because I've got I've still got my L'Oreal Braille Plumper. This is starting to wear out, but these are the only three brow products that I have, so those are the brow products that I use. <laughs> So for another new product this month, and it was the Milani Soft Focus Glow Complexion Enhancer in Nude Glow, and um, <laughs> I got it home and put it upright, and it's only filled up to here, so all this part of the bottle is empty, not sure how I feel about that. It's got a pump, so you just pull it off, don't twist it off. <laughs> it says it on there, pull to open, do not twist off, and I still twisted it off. <laughs> so it's, it comes with a little pump, and this is the first time I've used it, so this is what it looks like. 
So I thought I would try that on my face before I put my foundation on. See what it looks like. They had um, a darker colour too, but I thought that would be too dark, especially since we're heading into winter. And I might want some illumination over the winter months. We'll see if I'm more impressed with this one than I have been with other ones that I've tried. Because the e.l.f. illuminating primer I just threw away. It was revolting. <laughs> I didn't like it at all. And um, the L'Oreal one, the Lumi glow one um, I just felt like it didn't really do anything I, I think it was getting too old that one because I'm, I'm pretty sure when I first got it I thought it was doing something so do I look glowy I don't know get a dewy radiant glow with this weightless mineral based luminizer with soft focus pearl pigments to revive perfect and smooth the appearance of skin Contains moisturising hyaluronic acid, brightening rose water and soothing cucumber. So it sounds like it's got some nice ingredients as well. And it doesn't tell you how to use it because it just comes like this. So I'm going to try it under my foundation. So I'm going to put my foundation on and then see what it looks like. So I put my foundation on and my concealer on. Does it look glowy to you? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think I'd, it, as a first impression, my skin feels nice, feels fine. I haven't powdered or anything, but um, I have no idea if it's working or not. I'd have to use it a bit more to find out. So another new product I got is I actually found a primer for mascara. And this is an Australis one as well, and I haven't opened this yet, so I'm going to open this up. Okay. So this is what it looks like. See if it has anything. Okay, it's just clear. I can't tell that it's doing anything. Be runny and clear. It is going on the lashes. And again, it comes with no instructions, so I don't know how I'm supposed to use it. It just says mascara base, first base mascara primer serum. Doesn't say whether you're supposed to let it dry or what. So you won't be able to see anything because. It just looks like I've wet my lashes, really. <laughs> so I'll put my mascara on and see if it looks any different. I suspect not. It says first base primer serum mascara. So I'm confused with the serum part because first base primer mascara, yeah, you put it on and then you put your mascara on. But then with the word serum in it, is that not what this is? I'm gonna to have to look it up, aren't I? <laughs> uh, maybe I didn't buy what I thought I was buying. Or maybe it just doesn't do much. I don't know. Okay, so I looked it up and it just says, Australia's first base primer serum mascara is a mascara primer that will prep and prime lashes before applying mascara. It creates an even base and enriches the lashes. So, yes, you are supposed to put it on before mascara. It did. I have, am having a bit of trouble with my um, Essence slash Princess mascara going all clumpy. So it did stop it going clumpy. So maybe that'll be useful. Wasn't quite what I thought I was getting. I think um, I saw CoverGirl actually had a a white primer so I might have to try that and another thing that I brought was OXX brand from Kmart so it was super cheap holographic lip gloss lip liner and glitter so I thought I'd try that so this hasn't been opened yet so I haven't tried it at all 
and it was in a lavender colour. So the glitter looks super pretty. This is the lip gloss, it's the, that's what the lip gloss looks like. And the glitter. Hopefully it's gonna, oops. <laughs> Uh oh, I'm tipping it out. Now it's just all over my desk. That's what it looks like. It's pretty. It's all over my phone. <laughs> uh oh. It's never a good idea to tip glitter up. <laughs> and the pencil is just a um, sharpening pencil. So I'm going to put that on and see what it looks like. So that's quite a soft pencil. I've already got to the point where I'll need to sharpen it before I use it next. And I've put the lid down somewhere and I don't know where. I will find that later. So I'll try the lip gloss over the top. This is quite thick and it's not very, there's not much colour in there. Can't even see it on screen, I don't think. It's a very slight tint. That's what that looks like. And now I've got glitter all over me. And now I've got glitter all over my beauty blender or my makeup spoon. Cut down. Got really glittery now. It's fun. I don't know how often I've used the glitter part of it though. I just put a bit in the middle. It sticks well to that glass. So some other new purchases I brought was I bought another Body Shop Coco Calming Face Mist because I've nearly finished this one. And I've really been liking it, so I brought another one of these. And I also brought the Mandarin Energizing one. Because I don't go into Napier very often to see the body shop. So I thought I'd just buy two, because I really like it. I brought some more cleansing wipes. So I, I ran out of my simple ones, so I brought some more cleansing wipes. And I discovered simple is not a cruelty free brand which you'd think it would be but it's not so I thought I'd also try this one which is a cruelty free brand brand from glow lab because I have trouble with a lot of makeup wipes stinging my eyes if I use them on my eyes and I don't use them on my eyes that often but when I when I do want to clean up something I don't want them to sting my eyes these ones have been the best that I've found so far. But these ones are actually even better, so that's good. And they're also cruelty free and recyclable and things. So once I use up the other simple ones there, I think I'll just stick with this one because I can get these ones at my supermarket as well, so they're easy to buy. And I got a couple more of my Glow Lab masks, one in hydrating and one in, in detoxifying because um I'm down to one. I've got one left, one face mask altogether left. So I brought a couple of those. And I brought another black pencil just for doing your waterline because my other one's nearly run out. So this is the one I've got at the moment. And 
that's all I've got left of that one so it was a replacement so now I just want to oh. <laughs> uh oh I just broke it off <laughs> well just as well I've got a replacement because now it's broken <laughs> that was clever so I might be using that a bit sooner than I thought and I brought the Proactive 3 and the Proactive 1 cleanser in the repair because I was running out and I buy these all the time because they're in my standard skincare. And um, when I went into my, not my local town, but one a bit further away, I did find some LA Girl Shady Slim pencils before they sold out and closed the LA Girl stuff. And so I brought two, one in, what's this one, medium brown and one in brunette because I go through these quite fast so I just thought, I don't usually buy backups for stuff but I just thought I would have those. So that was all that I brought apart from, and I have got coming up, a BH Cosmetics haul. So I did buy some palettes there, but just in store over the month. That's what I bought. And I've got my empties. So I used up the simple stuff. I only used two face masks this month and I used um, like a clay mask a couple of times, but I wasn't very good at doing my mask this month. So I used the brightening vitamin C one from wherever, whatever this one's called, Skin Republic, and I got these ones when they were on special at Farmers, and I went in, and I actually really liked them, and I thought, oh, I'll buy some more of those, because I was nearly out of face masks, but they're actually quite expensive when they're not on special, so I'll wait till they're on special again, and I used one of the Brightening Glow Lab ones, so that was all I used there. I used a repair three, which I've replaced. I have finished my Shiseido Ultimate Power Infusing Concentrate, which was a little sample that I got. And um, I have no idea whether that does anything. It's supposed to, you're supposed to put it on and then put your serums and things on it. It's supposed to enhance how they work. but. I have no idea whether they did anything whatsoever. And I used up my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Serum. Now this is the second bottle of this I've had. So I do quite like this, but I've decided I, I wanted to try some other things. So I'm not going to repurchase this at this stage. This one I wouldn't repurchase because I have no idea whether it actually did anything. I wouldn't bother with it again. And the rest of the stuff I get in here is actually makeup empties. So if you count primer as a makeup empty. So I've used a hydrating face primer from Elf. I've used up my NYX pore fuller primer. I have used up a dream cushion foundation. I've used up my Milani Make it dewy, dewy setting spray. And I have used up my Superstay 24 hour Maybelline foundation. There are two of them because I have to mix the colours to get my right shade. And I will talk about all those things in more detail in my um, project pan update, my team project pan update, because that'll all be in there. So not too many empties, oops, sorry, <laughs> I'm knocking things around, not too many empties this month and um, not too many purchases to go through either and I've, I've got glitter everywhere <laughs> and so my technique that I am doing for today is actually one that I just made up myself and then I discovered the other week that um, Wayne Goss actually does it on his channel and did a video on it which I didn't realize but I will insert a clip here on what I do for my tip of the day 
for my tip of the month I'm going to show you how I use a highlighter that is too icy for me and um, I was thinking this is what I was going to do for my tip of the month but then I saw Wayne Goss do, he did a video on um, doing your highlighter before your blush and having that lit from within kind of look I thought that's what I've been doing so I can link that video down below so you can have a look as well but this is basically what I've been doing and I wanted to do it today because um, the highlighter that I have been using is nearly finished and I didn't want to finish it before I'd filmed this so so what I do is I get quite a firm this is a Real Techniques multitask cheek brush and it's quite it's quite firm and you get some of the powder in there and I have done my base and I've powdered it and I've done a little bit of contour but that's all I've done so far and then I put my highlighter on so you can see the highlighter there I'm just looking in the viewfinder to see if you can see it but you can see how hopefully it's just a bit icy for my skin tone it's too um, white. Sorry, I didn't have my microphone on for the beginning of that, but that's you can see what I've done with my highlight, and I've used the Real Techniques multi cheek brush for that. And then I'm going to go, the lid fell off. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my um, Revlon bronzer in Sun and a big fluffy brush, and I'm going to do my bronzer. So I'm going to do that and I'm going over some of that highlighter not all of it but just where I would normally put my bronzer so you can still see that kind of icy glow and then after I've done my bronzer I go in with my blush and here's my, my blush here You, instead of doing your highlighter last you do your highlighter first and then I'm going to put my blush on and a lot of that blush ends up going over the highlighter I'm a bit carried away on the side because I was busy talking and not concentrating on what I was doing <laughs> and then you just get that little glow from within look but the blush and, it, and the bronzer has warmed it up so it's not too in your face and it's also not too icy it sort of blends in with your skin more so that is how I have been making a highlighter that's too icy work for me because I'm panning it in my project pan but also how Wayne Goss says you can get a natural glow from within look so who knew I actually knew what I was doing when I did <laughs> so there is my finished look using my highlighter first rather than last and favorites for this month I have to say my favourites for this month are my BH Cosmetics brushes which I've really been enjoying. There's a few particular ones that I've really been liking. I really like their fluffy face brush as a round powder brush which is what I use it for. Really enjoy the highlighter brush. So it's a number five pointed highlighter brush. This one really does a good job. Hang on. I'll find some highlighter <laughs> and try some. So I'm gonna use the Sofix palette and just try a little bit of this purple since I've got purple lipstick on. And it really does buff the highlighter in and make it really shiny and precise so you can be precise where it goes. I have been enjoying that brush a lot and there's been a few of the 
eye brushes that I've really been enjoying. Let me just drag them out. They're all dirty because I've been using them a lot. So these three, my favourite eye brushes that I got. This one's not dirty because I just washed it. <laughs> so the number eight, which is a precise blending brush, and the number seven, which is a blending crease brush, and the number six, which is the last blending brush and this one's a lovely soft brush for doing um, buffing out and things and this one I can get in my crease a bit more and this one I can get even more precise so these are all been favorites this month I've been really enjoying those brushes so if you're wondering about getting some BH brushes then I would say try them out I got mine on special because I got a, I got this set for eleven dollars so they have so many specials wait for a special don't don't buy them full price but i would say they were worth it they were, they were fun and i think that is all so month in review i do empties haul favorites tip of the month okay i did everything <laughs> i just felt like it i i hadn't done everything i've done it in a different order and things and i got all confused so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye